The whole world sings the reason why Because it's Christmas Our Savior's born tonight It's Christmas from the Sidewalk Prophets here at Real Life Radio, 105.5 and 90.9 The Vine, because it's Christmas, and good morning, everyone, and uh, thanks for tuning in to 105.5, 90.9 The Vine, and if you're watching on our in-studio camera this morning, good morning, as you will see that Randy and Kelly is here. Good morning, guys. Well, good morning, Mark. Good morning, Kelly. Well, good morning, Randy. It's great to see you yeah, this good morning. Good to see you, too. Yeah, it's chilly out there this morning. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is something. And you know... It feels like Christmas, though. I did something I've never done before. Uh -oh. um, I got out in the hot tub last night at about 9 o'clock. <laughs> Ooh, that uh, sounds cold to me. It does. You yeah. know what? It was so fun. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. Yeah. And I was sitting there with my leg up in the air thinking, how long is it going to take for ice to form? <laughs> sure. It won't <laughs> take long. No, in this uh, weather, it won't take very long. Looks like you're trying to warm up this morning, too. I am. And you know, that keeps it so hot mm -hmm. that I have to pour it in here because I hurt myself. <laughs> Oh, that's too hot. I know. you got to be careful with that. You she do. She brought some goodies, that's too. This, Mark. She brought something. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was in a baking mood last night. I should have been wrapping Christmas presents. Yeah, that's all right. But, no, I keep putting that off. Well, nine, let's hurry up and eat days. it before Jimmy gets yeah, you here. You need okay? to. Yeah. You better get in there and see what I got. Brown, brownie there. I got yeah. some... Um, Pecan sandies or slash wedding yeah, wedding yeah. cookies I'll and brownies and they got tempted in the Jimmy, it's not any good, so just door. take your time, all right? Yeah, just take your time. Oh, we'll yeah. we'll eat it. we'll eat your share for you. I can't wait to see him walk yeah, in, yeah. in no the door. Whether. He may look like an elf this morning. There's no telling. I, I just I always look forward <laughs> yeah. to this. Hey Randy's here for a special reason this morning. Always he, he's got an update yes. for us. Randy, what what are you Tell updating? Us about yeah, it. Well yesterday morning, of course, we talked about the contest that we're having with the Casting Crowns concert where you know you can go online through our website and Mm -hmm. You can sign up and register to win a pair of front row tickets Ooh, to the concert. Oh, that's exciting. And we're actually going to have three, count them, three different winners. We're giving away six tickets. That's three pairs. Wow. And uh, we started doing that yesterday, and we're going to do it through January 20th. And then you guys are going to pick a winner, pick the three winners here on the uh Vine Morning Show on Friday morning, January 20th. Oh, when you said and you guys, I thought, oh, you guys get to set right with them. Yeah, oh, well, you, we're going to do that. <laughs> we get to yeah. pick them. Oh, pick them. that's so exciting. Well, Brian and I might come in that morning as well. We just yeah. have the whole gang here. Well, right good. Now, we'll oh. put all the uh, names that are registering into a giant tumbler. Mm -hmm. oh. And we'll put the tumbler here on the table so everybody can see it on camera and watch the drawing that's be live. Fun. Watch the drawing live to see who the three winners are. We'll let Jimmy Bass do the drum roll. Yeah, yeah. He's a drummer. He's a yeah. drummer. He could he do could. that. Yep. And we're getting a lot of entries, aren't we? We are getting a lot of entries. Mark. Uh, we sure are. I'm sure. A lot of people would like to sit on the front row for that Casting Crowns concert. And even if you've already purchased tickets to the concert, you know, if you win the front row tickets, well, I'm sure that uh, you could bless somebody with the tickets that you've already bought. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, or other family members. So, so even if you have already bought tickets to the concert, uh, you're still, you know, fine to go ahead and enter for the front row tickets if you'd like to. And it's real easy to do, right, Mark? That's right. Yeah, you just go to our website, wvyn.org, and uh, scroll down just after the uh, Casting Crowns poster, Andy, and you'll see that graphic one front row tickets. You click on that and uh, just scroll down and fill out all the information. And we got to stress, make sure you put everything in there that's required because we had some yesterday that was nobody uh, put in their zip code and what else was yeah, it? I didn't put in their city. Yeah, I, and some people didn't put in their uh, their phone number either. So, Ooh. I mean, we, we got to have that information in order to contact you. Mm -hmm. I mean, if yeah. we draw your name out to win, we've got to be able to contact you. Mm -hmm. So, please fill out all the information. There was also a couple people that only put their first name in and put their last oh. name in. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, we need, so again, we need your yeah. first and last name, yeah. your address, your city, and your zip. And then your email address and your phone number so that we can contact you. And no, yes. we will not share your information with anybody no, else. It's no. just for us here at the Vine. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for the contest. And uh, 
Uh, again, we'll announce the three winners on the morning of Friday, January 20th, and you and a companion will be sitting front row for that concert. How wow. awesome is that? Yeah, that's yeah. great, isn't it? I'm going to yeah. try this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, try you that. try that. Yeah, that's got to be good. Yes. Oh. yes. Pretty good, Randy. What did you okay. say? And she good said stuff. she dropped that before she made it in, right? Well, I left it right on the, <laughs> the armrest. The armrest. And oh, then I okay. you know, flew out of my road, and there it went in the back mm. floorboard. But at least it was covered, though. <laughs> it was covered. Cue, cue up that song, Chewy, 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 there. Chewy, <laughs> yeah. from the Ohio Express <laughs> yes. in the 60s. Remember yes. that song? I remember that <laughs> yes, song. Yes, I like that song. That's, that's yeah. what this is, um, Chewy, that Chewy. Is. These were quite <laughs> awesome. I took them out of the oven last night, and I... Uh, made up some whipping cream mm-hmm. and put on the side and then drizzled chocolate on the top. Mm. Oh. Pretty good? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's really have, good. I have, to have one. Here. I am so glad she left the calories out. Yeah, too. yeah. yeah. So I good. always leave the That's calories out. Oh, no, here out. comes Jimmy. Jimmy. That's good to leave the oh. calories out. Look at Jimmy him. Jimmy smells food. <laughs> he, he's, he's lit up this morning. Right? Jimmy yeah. feels yeah. yeah. He, why has he got Tylenol in his and bag? And he's always right? got that smile. Yeah. He's got Tylenol in his bag. I don't know why, but. Hmm. I got to deal with her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It, it's all the laughter he's going to have today and so he's preparing for okay. a headache sure. after that. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you yeah. got to you got to look at the live video stream right now on our website at yeah. He's, got his, yeah. he's got his lights going. Uh, there you go. Jimmy's got lights on again. And my new shirt. Mm-hmm. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the musical mm-hmm. oh, that we saw live last week at the right. Grand Ole Opry down in Nashville, the Tennessee. The musical. Right. How awesome Ooh, is that? Not everybody's got one of yeah. those shirts. That's right. Yeah. Jimmy, you didn't give us enough time to eat all these before yeah. you got here. Yeah. I heard I heard you as I was waiting on the train. Oh, to get okay. by. Yeah. I said okay. I have this train needs to hurry up so I can get in there. So you can get Even though I just had a big breakfast. All right. I'm all about some yeah. brownies. Uh-huh. Well, uh, there's, okay. There are no calorie brownies. Yeah. There. That's, yeah. that's even better after I having know. a big yeah. breakfast. That's right. That's right. <laughs> by the that's way, right. those headphones work. Those are new. Yeah. Isn't that nice? <laughs> and so does this pair. Yeah, they're great. You like those? You hear things good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your yeah. My mouse ears can hear them. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Mickey ears. That hat cracks me up. It's hard to set across from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty hard, yeah. Well, well Jimmy, Randy, Jimmy Randy we were here. talking yeah. about uh, the free yeah. front row tickets we're giving away. Yes, pretty cool, that's pretty, exciting. Pretty cool promotion in there. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Has, has, we've got good response already. That's why Randy was here yeah. telling us about there's, it. There's so. four of us right here, so yeah. that just leaves two to give away, right? I yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. No. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we'll have to work on that. <sighs> no. Yeah, we'll have to work on but that. But no, yeah. you guys get to select the winners here on the yeah, uh, that'll be fun. show on Friday, January 20th. It's going to be a good time. How awesome is that? So not only do you need to listen, but you also need to watch on our website. Yeah, That's you right. do. Because right where we, you're watching right now. We will have the giant tumbler here that day. Nice. Mm-hmm. We'll be mixing them up. Good. Really good. Yeah. Just right. and you said just a little after nine a.m. that morning, well, after right? Nine a.m. that morning. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right after the idea. Idea. Yeah, so that'd be great. <laughs> ID and idea. There you go. Is All that right. like the Christmas theme thong? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Right. right. Exactly. <laughs> Hey, that's awesome. So, yeah, go to our website and register. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Randy, thanks for coming in. Yep, yep. thanks a lot. And thanks for the food there. Well, hey, you're so welcome. That's going to make you have a good day. Uh All right. (laughs) Hey, we're going to come back in a moment. We're going to have our sports report coming up. We've got some basketball to look at, and we'll do that when we come back here in a moment right here on the Vine. And the area sports report is underwritten this morning by Lang Taylor Home Furnishings, and they're in Bonnie. Dean and Kathy Taylor of Lang Taylor Home Furnishings are happy to be a supporter of 90.9 The Vine. With over 90 years of serving Southern Illinois, they specialize in superior customer service, friendly smiles, and quality furniture such as Simply Amish, Best Home Furnishings, and Justice Furniture. Their slogan at Lang Taylor is, it's cheaper in the country. They are located in Bonnie at 105 West 3rd Street and their phone number is 242-3929. Find them on Facebook for more information and their hours of operation. Good morning, everyone. It's time now to check sports on this Friday morning. Girls high school basketball action from around southern Illinois last night. Carbondale and Mount Vernon played, and Carbondale winning, beating the Mount Vernon Lady Rams last night, 58-53. Alney beat Fairfield, 55-42. Hamilton County a winner over Edwards County, 44-32. Oakville, 53. Woodlawn, 32. Cesar Valier Waltonville beat Ziegler Ralton, 84-14. Flora beat North Clay, 60-26. Salem a winner over Mount Zion, 44-29. Benton, 61. West Frankfort, 50. Weber beat South Central, 40-25. DuCoin a winner over Anna Jonesboro, 35-33. Altamont over Cowden Herrick Beecher City, 62-31. Belleville-Altop beat Centralia, 
In overtime last night, 53-49, Belleville West, winner of East St. Louis, 52-40. Breeze Central, 53, Westland, 27, Brownstown, St. Elmo, 63, Neoga, 55. That took two overtimes. Collinsville, a winner over Alton, 89-51, Columbia, 53, Waterloo, Jabot, 22. Edwardsville beat Granite City, 87-24. Daffingham over Taylorville, 70-59. Harrisburg, a winner over Massac County, 47-31. It was Hillsborough beating Carlisle, 54-44. Modern Day over Mascouda, 76-40. Mattoon beat Charleston, 64-52. Meridian over Joppa, 70-37. Murfreesboro beat Marion 59-42, Tutopolis over Paris 61-43, and Triad beat Jerseyville last night. And girls High School basketball 44-30 or 44-42, the final score there. Boys basketball, the St. Elmo Holiday Tournament, Mulberry Grove beat Clay City 74-42, and St. Elmo Brownstown a winner over Cowden Herrick Beecher City 72-54. Junior High Boys Basketball, Fairfield beat Floor last night, 53-21. It was Albion over Red Hill, 54-43, and Sisney beat Jasper, 60-30. In Junior High Girls Basketball, only St. Joe beat Jasper, 40-21. Now on the schedule tonight, the Conrad Allen Holiday Tournament in Wayne City resumes tonight. And games on tap tonight, Patoka will take on Red Hill at 6. And at 7.30, the Wayne City Indians take on Crab Orchard. Regular season game tonight, high school boys basketball. Edwards County Lions and Fairfield Mules should be a dandy in Fairfield tonight as they will play tonight each other in Fairfield. Well, longtime Turner Sports broadcaster Craig Sager has died at the age of 65. Now known for his colorful and distinctive suits, during his more than 40-year career, the legendary sideline reporter battled acute myeloid leukemia since he was first diagnosed back in 2014. Sager was admitted back into the hospital in uh, late November. Now, Sager covered a wide variety of events, including college football, the NFL, the World Series, the Goodwill Games, the Pan Am Games, World Cup soccer, golf, tennis, and the Winter and Summer Olympics. His home was the NBA. So baseball news for you this morning. The Colorado Rockies have agreed with relief pitcher Mike Dunn on a three-year contract. The deal is worth more than $19 million. And Dunn is a left-handed pitcher, 6-1 with a 3.40 ERA in 42 and a third innings for the Miami Marlins last season. Free agent reliever Koji Yahara has agreed to terms on a one-year deal with the Chicago Cubs. Terms were not disclosed, but it is believed that the contract is worth $6 million. He pitched last year for the Boston Red Sox. Former Texas Rangers left-handed pitcher Derek Holland agreed to a $6 million Dollar one-year contract with the Chicago White Sox. Holland's deal includes $2 million in performance bonuses, $1 million each for 150 innings and 200 innings. Now, he was 62-50 and 50 with a 4.35 ERA in eight seasons with the Rangers, who declined an $11 million option and chose to pay $1.5 million in that buyout. The Baltimore Orioles have agreed to a one-year deal with free agent catcher Wellington Castillo. The $6 million deal is pending a physical and also features a $7 million player option for 2018. Castillo, who made $3.7 million in 2016, became a free agent after the Arizona Diamondbacks did not tender him a contract for 2017. Well, there was one game last night in the National Football League, and the game was between the Seattle Seahawks and the Los Angeles Rams. Well, the Seahawks beat the Rams. Rams not having a good year this year. They're like 4-10 and 10 now, and uh, they have an interim coach now. Bass. Seattle won that game last night by the score of 24-3. No NCAA men's basketball games last night. They'll resume tomorrow. NBA basketball scores from last night. New Orleans over Indiana, 102-95. Milwaukee beat the Bulls, 108-97. It was Denver beating Portland 132-120. San Antonio beat Phoenix 107-92. And it was Golden State beating New York 103-90. In the National Hockey League, the Blues winner last night over New Jersey 5-2. The Blackhawks winner over the Islanders 5-4. It was Anaheim over Boston 4-3 in a shootout. Arizona beat Toronto 3-2. Los Angeles over Detroit 4-1. Minnesota over Nashville, 5-2 in a shootout last night. Winnipeg in Florida. Winnipeg won that one over Florida, 4-3. And the Rangers over Dallas, final score, 2-0. NCAA Women's College Basketball. Number three, Baylor. No problem at all with Winthrop. Baylor, 140. 
Winthrop, 32. Number six, South Carolina over Clemson, 83-61. It was number 16. Texas beating Texas Rio, 85-61, to 61, the final score there. And number 17, DePaul. They were upset last night by Temple. Temple beat DePaul, 84-74. That's Check Sports for you on this Friday morning. I'm Mark Wells reporting. Mark Dinsmore Country Financial in Wayne City is a faithful underwriting sponsor of 105.5 and 90.9 The Vine. Mark Dinsmore Country Financial is your full-service insurance provider. From home and auto to life and health to a full line of financial and retirement products. Mark Dinsmore Country Financial is located at 210 North Main in Wayne City. And their phone number is 895-2989. Time now to check the area weather forecast. Underwritten by Home Source Warehouse in Malvernon. Monthly financial support of local Christian radio is provided by Home Source Warehouse in Mount Vernon. Located four miles north of Mount Vernon on Route 37, Home Source Warehouse offers a warehouse full of quality furniture and mattresses with legendary service. Open Thursday and Friday, 10 to 6, Saturday, 10 to 3. You can find them on Facebook, and their website is homesourcewarehouse.net. Their phone number is 204-5515. Home Source Warehouse, where style is affordable. Southern Illinois weather. Well, cloudy skies today throughout Southern Illinois. Could see some drizzle or freezing drizzle. And it's just slightly possible we'll have a high of 36 today. It's cold outside, so wrap up. Showers in the morning and steady, light, freezing rain in the afternoon. And now we'll have a high of 55, and then temperatures are really going to fall sharply to near freezing during the day. And then Sunday, clear skies, high of only 14 in the area right now. Flora and Carmi and Salem at 22, and in Wayne City right now, it's 21. It is time right now for To Your Health with Lyle Dean. And the one-minute feature this morning, it's underwritten by Fairfield Memorial Hospital. This is Jeff Zerlini, and I'm a Fairfield Memorial Hospital physical therapy patient. I have been working with the therapist and have gained momentum in overcoming osteoarthritis in my knees. During my physical therapy sessions at Fairfield Memorial Hospital, I improved the quality of movement in my knees, strengthened my muscles, as well as lost weight, which is something I had not done in many years. While spending time under their care, I witnessed firsthand hearts of pure gold in action. I believe the therapy team at Fairfield Memorial Hospital has extraordinary talent, and I greatly appreciate them using their expertise to help me overcome my limitations. A study involving 80,000 adults looked at participation in six different types of exercise, including cycling, swimming, racket sports, aerobics, football, and running. The results published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine suggested life-saving benefits from cycling, swimming, aerobics, and racket sports compared to running and football. The statistics from the study were impressive. 56% lower risk from cardiovascular disease among those who played racket sports, 41% lower among swimmers, and 36% lower risk from aerobics. Researchers say it is not only how much and how often, but also what type of exercise we do that seems to make a difference. To your health. A community service of Fairfield Memorial Hospital and WVYN, The Vine. I'm Lyle Dean. Welcome back to the Mind Morning Show. Here we are on this fun day Friday. I'm Mark. It's great to have you along this morning. And if you're tuned in and listening on 105.5 or 90.9 The Vine or watching this morning on our website, WVYN.org, our live video stream right now, our live in-studio camera. I'm Mark. Kelly and Jimmy in the studio. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Yes, good to see you guys as it's Fun Day Friday. And, uh, hey, did you hear the clue this morning on the uh, Christmas movie song? I sure did. Now, notice I didn't say theme song. I know, and I noticed that. And, and you said that in your video thing yesterday as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that's, yes. that's, that's the only clue I have is from your Facebook Live video yesterday. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know what? Kelly... She she knows it. the answer because yeah. I got I got a thinking. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so I, well I can't say it all, but yeah, um, yeah don't give it away. I, I, rea- I realized what it was. I'm going to give you another clue here in a moment. Now the first clue I gave was ten day Caribbean cruise. Yep, and that's all a right. good that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, and uh, I'll give you another clue right now. We've got some cool pri- we've got some Christmas music to give away, guys. Yes. We got a Jamie Grace bracelet, uh, Jamie Grace CD, Morgan Harper and her. 
uh, Jamie Grace uh, family Christmas CD and a Mercy Me. Oh, I bet that's Christmas good. CD. No, that yeah. Mercy Me CD is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really CD. good. Yeah. So that's what we're going to give away wow, today. Nice. Just we're just going to make it all Christmas today on both uh, okay. the riddle and uh, the uh, movie song. All right, you ready for the second clue? Yes. yes. Riverside, Illinois. Riverside, Illinois is the second clue. Does that help you out, Jimmy? Nope. Nope. Doesn't help. Sorry. It doesn't help you out at all. I, I'm, I'm really shocked. I'm telling you, it may be a movie I've never seen. I know there are some this. movies I've never seen. Yeah. I yeah. know you have. This was on uh, television uh, night before last. Oh, was it? Yeah. And I laughed. I watched it. And I thought, I'll use, I'll use that part. Well, I had seen it so, about a week ago. Yeah, yeah. You may not have seen this one, Jim. Jimmy. I we'll think find he out. has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You brought some goodies with you this morning, too, didn't you? I kind of did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to show us right now, but okay. uh, I know you're I, saving that for a special special deal. Yeah, so. I request a Christmas mm-hmm. song when he uses yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, speaking of Christmas, we're getting closer and closer to Christmas. Guys. Nine days. Nine, Nine days. days. And you know it's one week away from his, well, not I his know. birthday, but it's almost one week away from his birthday. Well, yes. Well, this Sunday, actually. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's yeah. Right. Yours yeah. is better that's right. than That's right. It's Sunday. I, I'm yeah. thinking, yeah. And Kayleen, the intern, is uh, hers is uh, the 20th. The 20th. Yeah. Yes. She'll be with us next Friday. Yeah. She'll be here with us. So, so Sunday, out. we won't be here. Happy birthday. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Happy appreciate birthday, that. Thank Mark. You, thank we you. threw a big birthday party for him last year. Thank yes. You. I appreciate that, you guys. It means a lot. Thank you for that wish. Just another day. I know. It is. It's always special. It's a special special. It's your day. That's right. That's right. I, Sherry says, "What do you want? What do you want to eat?" And I said, "Well, or wherever you want to take me after Aww. church." And <laughs> she says, "Oh, okay. Well, she says I was going to fix you something." I said, "Well, you know, it's after church. You know, we can go out and eat." So we have a mission trip meeting because our church is planning a mission trip. Oh wow! Uh, Which I year. highly recommend doing. Yes. So we're having a we're having a meeting to uh, look at all you know look at over everything and and get some ideas and you know so and then we'll go out and probably. Have a Sunday afternoon lunch. Yeah, nice. so, that's always yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, and Kayleen, yeah, she's getting oh, she's getting her driver's license. She is. That's a big deal for her. Big. That is scary. Yeah, yeah. 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 and, and so. she'll get to drive herself here yeah. next Friday. Yeah. Stay off the sidewalks, everyone. <laughs> no, yes. just kidding, Kayleen. <laughs> We're letting you know yes. right now. Oh, yes. so happy she'll be for out her. and about. Yeah. yeah, she'll be out. So she'll be here with us. Kayleen, the intern, will be with us next Friday. Yes. And uh, hey, do you guys like candy canes? Yes, yes I, I do. do. Yeah. You know. like Why do you all. keep saying everything I say? No, I say it first and then no, 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 you no, no, say no, 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 no. it. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to get my friend on you. Mm-hmm. What friend? Uh, yeah, he'll be that here in friend? a little bit. He'll be here in a little bit. Yeah, his, yeah, his friend. Oh, yeah. oh that yeah. friend. He's got a friend that's coming in. <laughs> he can be angry sometimes. <laughs> hey, I, that I, I rhymed. Bet he can. A friend that's coming in. <laughs> there you go. Well, candy canes, guys, a lot of people like them. Do you know the curved and straight parts have names on a candy cane? No. The curved part of the candy cane is called the warble, W A R B L E, warble, or warble. And the straight part is called the strabe, S T R A B E. I did not know that. I'm, 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 I'm going back to the warble mm-hmm. or warble. Is that like yeah. wash or warsh? Warsh could be. <laughs> I've heard warble pronounced warble. I've warble. Warble. So, yeah. I did not know that. I really did. Yeah, I didn't know no, that either. No, I didn't either. Hey, do you know the first candy canes were all white? They were just simply white sticks of candy. The first published candy cane recipe came in 1844. The red stripes were there, but there was no curve. Uh, was it peppermint candy or just mm, a just sweet a, candy? Just a sweet candy, apparently. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I yeah. wonder when the peppermint came into play I guess with it. I'm not sure. To, I'm not the sure. Red. We'll find out here in a moment. Uh, Hopefully. Do you, yeah. Do you know, uh, let's see, uh, each candy cane, uh, early candy canes were very difficult to produce because uh, there was the hot candy had to be bent by hand many years ago. Oh. And more than 20% of all canes broke during production. Oh, I before bet. They, before they came up with a uh, machine yeah. that makes them Can you now. imagine? Do you know that candy canes most likely evolved from a Swedish, Swedish, <laughs> Swedish, <laughs> yes, a Swedish candy <laughs> called polka gris? A sweet candy from yeah, Sweden. Sweeted, a sweet, <laughs> a sweet candy from Sweden. <laughs> yeah, polka gris. Wow. Yeah, wow. evolved from that. And uh, these straight candy sticks were originally peppermint flavored, with red and white stripes. So, in a, so actually, the Swedish cousin, <laughs> cousin. <laughs> 
Boy, you, my friend's going to have really fun fast. with you. Say that really fast. Swedish cousin. <laughs> the Polka Gris actually probably got it started with the uh, peppermint flavor. Yeah. All right, trivia question for so, you. So, yeah. it was invented in like 1840-something? 1859. Oh, the okay. Polka Gris was, yeah. But, wow, uh, that's been a long time the ago. The recipe came out in 1844. Now, look at... Mm-hmm. The candy cane. There's All the so different many different flavors. Yes. I wonder how many flavors. Well, let's see. Well, and, the, and not only that, but they have the different candies like spree and mm-hmm. sweet tarts mm-hmm. and what that are in yeah. the shape of candy canes. Yeah. This that, time of the year. And then every flavor you can think of. And you know the strangest flavor? Mm-hmm. Think about what the strangest flavor is um, of a candy cane. Of a, of a candy cane? Mm-hmm. Uh, have you had a strange flavor before? Oh, yes. Candy cane? Buttered popcorn. I don't. Well, yeah, that is strange, <laughs> but that's a good taste. There's jelly bellies that are yes, <laughs> that are but there is one. that are good. But <clears throat> the most bizarre one that I've come across is dill pickle. I have oh. never. Ooh, I, that would turn me off. But yeah. kids loved dill pickle candy canes. Really, it's no yeah. different than a than a what they what they call it. It, you go to the ball games around yeah, around the, the area. Sickles. They got the pickle sickles, well, the frozen yeah. pickle and juice. Kids love them. Yeah, so love anything them. dill pickle, mm-hmm. the kids will love. Mm-hmm. But I personally like the blueberry ones the myself. Blueberry? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, we've got some more facts to to look at on candy canes. We'll come back and we'll do that. All right. Um, okay. Let me give you another clue on our Christmas. Uh, uh, let me give you another clue. Let's just go ahead and do that. Give you another clue. One on more. Christmas. One more. All right. Let me pull that up here real quick here before we head into eight o'clock. Maybe Jimmy, maybe those. I'm disappointed Jimmy doesn't have any clue as much as he loves Christmas. But he's going to get this, and I know he's seen this. I think this. he will too. Uh, let's give you another clue. So we've given uh, 10 day Caribbean cruise, Riverside, Illinois, honey glazed ham. Does that help you out, Jimmy? Not particularly. I'm disappointed. He'll hear the music and he'll maybe realize. (laughs) Now, I'm laughing for a reason when you hear the music. There's a reason why. And you'll find that out when we do that here in a bit. I'm surprised. I'm really shocked that I figured you would know that. I just, I just really would because I know how much you love Christmas mm-hmm. and how much you evolve around and it. And I so. love Christmas movies. Yeah, yeah. And this is a good one. Mm-hmm. This was a good If you haven't watched it, you and your wife need to watch it. You'll get a okay. good chuckle out of it. All right. We're going to do all that when we come back. We'll look at more yes, candy canes do. and all that when we come back. As uh, Hey, it's Mark, Kelly, and Jimmy because we're heading into 8 o'clock. And Brent McGuire's got news break coming up. The Vine Morning Show continues on a fun day Friday right here at Real Life Radio. This is your home for best Christian music. WVYN, Blueford Wayne City, Fairfield, Mount Vernon. And now on translator, W288CO Centralia, broadcasting at 105.5. A service of Real Life Radio Foundation. The best Christian music, 90.9 The Vine. And now, from the 90.9 The Vine newsroom, it's news break. All the news you need to know from a positive perspective. This news break is made possible by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy in Fairfield. Nearly everyone has a smartphone these days, and there is an app for almost everything. Well, prescription refills are made easy at the Medicine Shop and Ed's Rx in Fairfield. They have an app that will simplify your life. Drop off your prescription or call it in, and they will text you when your prescription is ready. They even can sync all of your prescriptions together so that your refills will be handled more conveniently for your schedule. Refills made easy at the Medicine Shop Pharmacy and Ed's Rx in Fairfield. Welcome to your Friday edition of the Vine News Break. I'm Bruce McGuire with news that affects you. Fairfield Memorial Hospital's Chief Executive Officer, Catherine Bunning Williams, has been recognized for the seventh time by Becker's Hospital Review, a publication by ASC Communications. Becker's Hospital Review recently named Bunning Williams to its annual list of 135 nonprofit hospital and health system CEOs to know and 130 women hospital and health system leaders to know for 2016. Fairfield Memorial Hospital will be hosting a special event just for children with sensory issues or autism to have a special time to visit with Santa tomorrow from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Space is limited, so pre registration is required. Please call 847-8243 to schedule your child's 20-minute session with Santa. 
The District 80 Board of Education in Mount Vernon chose not to vote Wednesday on a measure to place a bond proposal before voters next April. Superintendent Aletta Lawrence asked the board to delay the vote until next month so she could get firmer cost figures on planned facility upgrades. District officials hope to buy additional bonds to fund building upgrades and a new gym at Casey Middle School. The referendum would ask voters to authorize the district's purchase of these bonds. The City of Mount Vernon will be hosting their Christmas in the Park tonight and tomorrow. The event is at Veterans Park in Mount Vernon and will open at 6 p.m. both evenings and close at 9 p.m. The free drive through takes about 15 minutes entering on the west side of the park off 27th Street. All Kaskaski College campuses, including the main campus and all education centers, will be closed for the holiday season starting December 26th through January 2nd. The main campus and education centers will reopen on Tuesday, January 3rd. If you see news happen or have a news item to submit, please call 895-3030 or email your information to newsbreak at wvyn.org. I'm Bert McGuire, and that's today's news break on 105.5 and 90.9 The Vine. 90.9 The Vine. Tim and the staff at Save a Lot Grocery Store in Fairfield want to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and remind you about what the true meaning of this season means. And they thank you for shopping at their newly remodeled store, Save a Lot Grocery Store on West Main Street in Fairfield. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Bert and Becky Irvin at Irvin Jewelry, 100 East Market Street in McLeansboro. Oh 
It's from Amy Grant here at Real Life Radio, 105.5 and 90.9 The Vine. Her song called Tennessee Christmas. I had a lot of those growing up. Yes, yes, in the Memphis area, right? Uh-huh. Love yes. that song. It's a great oh, song gosh. from Amy. It's 809. It's the Vine Morning Show. It's Monday, Friday here on the Vine. I'm Mark, along with Kelly and Jimmy. And guys, good morning. You all we were talking good about. Good morning. We like candy canes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right. Well, let's continue. You got a few more here. And then, Jimmy, you're going to you're gonna kind of reverse roles here. You're going to pose some trivia questions for us. Well, it's morning. not necessarily a trivia question. Mm-hmm. And, it's uh, just a little game. It's a little game that we're cool. going to play amongst ourselves. That the, uh, the, You, the listener, you can play along, too. We got, we're not going to win anything. And we're not giving anything away, and you don't have to call in to guess what it is. But I'm going to give you guys a line from a Christmas movie. Mm. Okay. Like, yeah. like what one of the characters would say in the movie, and you have to guess what that movie is. It's going to okay. be tough. I'm not good at stuff right. like that. He would be the one to score and, 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 on every and, one of those. And we're going to do, and we're, we're going to carry it over to next week as well when Kayleen, when the Kayleen interns here, here yeah. and okay. we'll play, we'll play it, we'll play it a little yeah. more too. She's, and she's good at stuff like that. Yeah, she so we, is. we need to practice this. Uh, yeah, we yeah. do. Hey, you know, uh, Guys, the world's largest candy cane. What do you think? How far, how long do you think it is? How long? How, how many feet do you think it is? Feet long? Do you how think many it is? Feet. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm going to say one thousand two hundred and twenty-seven point five feet. That's really high. That's too high. high. <laughs> I was going to say you're too high. I was going to the say actual retail price is foot. Thanks, Bob Barker. I'm uh, way too low, probably. Uh, well, you're you're still too high. At fifty-one feet long. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it was created in Geneva, uh, Geneva Illinois, uh, oh, wow. by a pastry chef named Alan Roby back in 2012. He also holds a record for the tallest cooked sugar building and the tallest chocolate sculpture. Ooh. Mm, isn't that cool? Hmm. Yeah. Where's Geneva, Illinois at? Up, up north, up by Chicago. Up north. Everything's up by uh, Chicago. It is. Up by Chicago. Yeah. Everybody down in Tennessee and Mississippi, where my family lives, they think Mount Vernon's up by Chicago. Yeah, by some <laughs> Chicago, yeah. I know. Everybody thinks yeah. everything's yeah. by Chicago. It's really well, strange. Not everything's by Chicago. Nope. That's nope. right. Hey, nearly 2 billion candy canes are sold each Christmas season each year. 1.7 billion candy canes are produced, and 90% of them are sold between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I wow. believe it. Wow. Yes. Now, we were talking, uh, let's see, they're the top non-chocolate candy sold during December. The top selling week for candy canes annually is the second week of December. Because why? Everyone stocks up on Christmas supplies. Yes. Mm-hmm. And okay, another question. How many calories do you think are in a candy cane? An average 5-inch candy cane. You know, candy canes contain no fat. But uh, but how many calories? I'm going to say they contain about uh, 70 calories. Ooh, okay. I'm going to say 20. Ooh, he's closer. 50. Oh. 50 <gasps> calories. <gasps> yeah, they're it's certainly high. all the yeah. sugar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all the sugar. They're certainly high. But that's the average 5-inch candy cane. 50 calories, guys. 10 calories an inch. Wow. Yes. Isn't that something? Ooh. So when you eat, well, yeah, but, you know, when you think of that, oh, I'm eating 50 calories right here. Yes. <laughs> oh, who, who's, who's that? that? <laughs> who's that? That's my buddy. He's <laughs> an he's an elf. His little buddy elf. <laughs> well, good morning, little buddy elf. Well, what, what's his name? <laughs> it's Mary. <laughs> Mary elf. <laughs> That's right. That's a buddy of yours, probably. Yeah. Buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Miss Mary. Mr. Mary. Oh, Mr. Mr. Mary. Yeah. Can, you under, can you not tell by his voice? It's Mr. Mary. Uh, Mary Oakey. Mary Oakey. But Mary Oakey. Oh, okay, now we get it. <laughs> well, sing me a song, Mary Oakey. Can you sing um, Little Christmas Tree? Uh, well, do, do that. There you go. Hey, that's pretty I good. I loved it. Mary Oki. Well, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Mary Yeah, that's Mary-Oki. a line from Elvis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah. He's pretty pretty nice to have around, I must say. Not bad, not bad. It, it, Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, what's your favorite flavor? Well, ha- ha- has Mary had any yet? No. Uh, yeah, looks pretty good. <laughs> He's there. got his yeah. eye on one. Well, we don't. <laughs> what do you like to drink, Mary? You like coffee? Uh, we don't have anything for you. Eggnog. What I was gonna guess. Eggnog. Do you know there's many things you can do besides drinking eggnog? I shared that earlier this week. Do you know that? With eggnog? Yeah. I used to too. Oh. Well, yeah. darn, and I missed, missed it, it too. Yeah. Yeah. Do you still have it around? I'll have to look. Things to, to do with eggnog? Yeah, besides drink it. There are some things you can do beside with eggnog besides drinking. What it. in the world would, could you do with eggnog? What? Yeah, yeah, you can eat. Yeah, you can even have eggnog <laughs> oh, ice cream boy, or eggnog got, milkshake. Yeah, he's got an attitude. Yeah, listen to him. <laughs> How, how tall are you, Mary? Mr. Mary. Well, you sound like two and a half feet tall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you do sound like I it. Can, I can barely see him over the table. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> well, those headphones look awful big on oh, you. Yes. I was just getting ready to say, uh, is the volume loud enough? You have a new set of headphones there, by the way. Yes. They yeah. are nice. Yeah, I know. We had to turn them down a little bit. Of course, they're brand new. They kind of oh, have a little great. bit of distortion there. So they're fitting. They're, they should fit your head pretty tight, yes. Mary. They do. Yeah, they do. They should fit your head pretty tight. <laughs> oh, you were singing too much, too high yes. there a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't have any more candy canes. Well, well. Now, let me ask you, Mary, um, how old are you, by the way? If you don't mind review, revealing your age here for us. Okay. Yeah, I've well, heard that. Okay, well. Oh, Rand, you're around Randy's age. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's not... That's, that's not Oh, well, oh, yeah. I'm sure you do. Have you registered? Mr. Mary. Well, you have to. Well, we'll take you into the uh, production studio later and you can use a computer in there and register. Yeah. You got to make sure you fill every. You got to put your name, your address, your email. You got to put all that you gotta stuff in. You got to put your there, phone right? number, too, Mr. Mary. Yeah, do you have a phone number? Bro? 1 800 call. call will Santa. that, will that okay. fit in there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to make sure your city and zip code. You know your zip code there? Yes. All right, your phone number. You have an email address. Your yes. mailing address. Mailing address. Yeah. And, yeah. And they'll get to you. All right, yeah. We'll make sure you fill that in. We'll do that for you after. All right. Hey, you know, there are some things. Now, let me ask you this, Mary. There are some I'm things. Okay, well, you want to play along on this? Let me ask you some questions before you, before you go outside here. See, okay? talking about candy canes makes Mr. Mary want one. Oh, he, he, can, he can have outside. one. Outside? <laughs> outside. He can have <laughs> Oh, that's right. <laughs> Instead of outside. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll just. <laughs> no, they're working fine, Mr. Mary. It's just hard to translate you sometimes. Well, here, here, here's something. Let me let me ask you just a couple of things before you go out and eat candy canes. Okay, <laughs> things you're never too old for. All right. Oh All right. yeah. You ready for these? Okay. Eating an ice cream cone. Do you like ice cream? Uh, oh Eggnog yes. ice cream. All right. Topped with a little nut nutmeg. All right. How about this one? Coloring in a coloring book. Now I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask this one, and, and, and Jimmy's sitting right by you, so I want Jimmy to answer this too. Okay. Going to Disney World. Oh. I love. You know, everybody knows I love Disney World. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. it too. Well, I don't. I don't care. It don't matter. Yeah, let let Mary. Oh, what what about Mary? Hey, this 
at Christmas time. Oh, yes. All right. Now, Mary, let me ask you this one. When you jump on a trampoline, can you actually make it bounce? You're not very big, so you don't weigh much. So you know how a trampoline jumps up and down. I don't. You, yeah, he throws you way up in the air. <laughs> I don't think you would, Mr. Mary. Yeah. How about this one? Telling a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mary, I think you've been around Mr. Jimmy Bass too long. Now, you've got... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Now, I got, I got a feeling we've all done this except Mary. Oh, and, okay. And, and I'll tell you why. I bet Mary has never made mud pies before. If you live in the North Pole, no. it's all cold and snow. Cold oh, and snow. there's nothing like making mud pies and adding a- acorns to them and yeah. baking them in the sun. Yeah. And then throwing them at somebody. Yeah, that's Ooh, right. Yeah. Now, Mary, you... Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, 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 uh, now, Mary has some decent long hair. He's about got as much long hair as you do. Kelly. Oh yeah. All right. That's pretty good. Well, now, I think now maybe, watch it, Mr. Mary. I think maybe both of you may have done this before. <laughs> well, you you got. Oh, That's right. Okay, because of Christmas magic. Yeah, I understand that. But yeah, of course we See, have. We to. can't talk about his hair. Well, why not? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, oh, Mr. Mary, have you have? Let me ask you, Kelly. Have you ever dyed your hair turquoise before? <gasps> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> what about what? <laughs> And you look like a Smurf? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it says the more gray hair you have, the better the dye will look. So, yeah. Apparently, when you dye your hair turquoise, if you have gray hair, the, the turquoise looks better. Maybe I should try that. Now, no, she's got pretty blonde hair. Mm-hmm. I don't think we need to mess with hers. Well, let me. And ha- she wouldn't have gray yeah, yet. She wouldn't have gray, mm-hmm. would she? Yeah. Nope. All right. Well, here's another crying. You know, uh, we're never too old for crying. What about you, Mary? Do you cry? <laughs> That's true. So uh, he has no clue. That's right. So there's yeah, no. Yeah, but there's happy cry. Yeah. There's. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, no crying. Yeah. Hey, licking a lollipop is a good. We all like that. What about you, Mary? Yeah, you like sugar canes and lollipops. I was yeah. gonna say candy canes, sugar canes, and lollipops. Especially when there's a tootsie roll in the middle. Of course. Mm-hmm. All right. Here, here's one. Now, I, have, I don't know if I've ever done this one before. Eating French fries dipped in a frosty. I think I have. Now. Yes. Have you done that? You probably, so have I. Yeah, it's I really think, good. It's good, think, and I, lots and lots of people do that. And I think we all have before. All right. Chocolate. Uh, chocolate. Yeah, chocolate all good the way. Good point, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mary. Now, you're not very tall, Mary, so I don't know if you would do... <laughs> I know, I know, but it has to tie... No, it just has something to do with my next question. Okay. Turning a cartwheel. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm tall. Yeah. (laughs) You wouldn't want me attempting it. It's pretty bad. (laughs) So I'm not. I'd like to see that. I'm not picking on Mary. I'm just. It just has. You know, he's not a tall elf. I know, but little little folks like little Mary, Mr. Mary, can do things like that easier. And, And a couple more, real quick here. Uh, in the North Pole, do they have zoos there, Mary? Uh, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, sure. well, of course. So you go to the zoo quite often. <laughs> and in die, the, Mark. Yeah, I know. You go to the zoo quite often there. 
All right. Oh, so yeah. And there's no giraffes or lions or elephants there, right? <coughs> yeah. Well, since you do, you know what a name. <coughs> Oh, misfit oh. toys. Well, do you know what an anaconda is? <laughs> oh, you've had, you've you've had an encounter with one before. Oh, okay. Well, he, on think, the Amazon. Yeah, on the Amazon. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. One more. One more. Uh, going down the slide at the park is something. You don't know what a slide is? No. There's not one at the North Pole? No, it's just ice. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it, it's a slide that is at a park, and you slip, you can slide down it. It's usually oh, aluminum. Yeah. yeah. I slide on the ice pond all the time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I slide on the pond. Right. Oh, okay, boy. I understand. Okay, all right. So those are some things you're never too old for. So... He, you know, really, Mary qualifies for a lot of stuff. Like I that. know. Now, Mr. Mary can go outside and eat a candy cane. <laughs> yeah. Well, he probably <laughs> needs. Yes, you did. Yeah. Well, you and probably. And you did good. You've got to go. You got to go cool down a little bit. It looks like you're sweating over there. Sometimes I can be angry. Well, you know. Well, you're not used to this warm. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> That's good. Well, you go have a candy cane. Right. Okay, I'll be good. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll whisper it to your ear as you go down for a candy cane, okay? Yeah, no, Jimmy, don't tell Jimmy, Jimmy has Bass. no clue. I'm, I'm shocked because of Jimmy doesn't know this. I know, and I can't wait for him to hear the music to see if he knows it. <laughs> Maybe. Single, yeah, he might be able to. Yeah. Yeah, he might be able to. All right. All right. All right. Gonna, Thank you, Mr. Yeah, Mary. Yeah, yeah, we're going to come back in a moment as it's uh, Mark. He's fun, isn't he? <laughs> oh, he's great. I'm so glad you brought him along. Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you have to seatbelt him in, or does he wear a seatbelt? No, I just put him underneath the seat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's probably warm because the heat's that's why, under. That's why he's a little angry from yeah, time to yeah, time. I imagine. You carried him in your bag coming in, too. That's why I have the Tylenol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That explains why I have the Tylenol. <laughs> yeah. Well, we saw you carry this bag in, seen it wiggle, and we wondered, what's in that bag there? Yeah, there you go. Well, there was Mary. All right, well, we're going to come back. It's Mark, it's Kelly, it's Jimmy, and Mary, Jimmy's buddy, the elf. <laughs> we'll be back here in a little bit <laughs> on the Vine Morning Show. More to come. Stick around. Right now, time for a moment of God's Word with Max Hooper. Underwritten by Crawford Plumbing and located in Woodlawn. Crawford Plumbing LLC in Woodlawn is licensed, bonded, insured, and ready to serve your household and business plumbing needs. From leaky faucets to complete plumbing systems and repair, Crawford Plumbing in Woodlawn is a full-service plumbing company. They can be reached at 618-242-3360. Crawford Plumbing in Woodlawn is a proud underwriting sponsor of Real Life Radio. It's time now for a moment in God's Word with your host, Max Hooper. Hello, everyone. Well, most of the time on this program, we talk about a verse or two from one of the chapters in the Bible. Today, I'd like to suggest the book of Daniel. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to talk about the entire book today. That just would not be possible in the allotted time frame. The overview of Daniel is simple. Our calling is not about constant victory, it's about constant faith. In the time of Daniel, people were threatened. There were a lot of things going on around them, and they did not understand much of it. Kings were fighting kings, wars between kingdoms, uh, the life just was difficult. Sounds like some of the stuff that we're facing today. The book of Daniel is important because it shows that even with difficult times, we need to be faithful to God. When we face trials, it is through prayer that we find answers. I suggest that you take the time to read the 12 chapters and see for yourself what took place. You will find just how difficult times can be handled with the proper attitude and devotion to God. When we are looking for encouragement and hope, where, where do you turn? In Daniel, there are six stories about four Israelites 
taken captive by King Nebuchadnezzar, and taken to Babylon sometime around 597 BC. These stories demonstrate the necessity of proper behavior during difficult times. In verses 1 through 8, you will see that Daniel took it upon himself to reject the food that the king had sent to the prisoners. Instead, Daniel chose to follow God's guidance and seek permission for a special God-approved diet, rather than seeking to please the Babylonian king. As it turns out, the four Israelites were in better condition than the other prisoners and impressed the king with their ability to respond to questions and show the king they were capable in many areas. In verse 17, we are reminded that our skills and abilities come from, as a gift from God. We are encouraged to make good judgment and to follow God's word. It is through him that we gain knowledge and the ability to withstand difficult times. In the first chapter or two of Daniel, we get a glimpse of how these people built their faith and physical strength to hold on to their beliefs. When times are tough, sometimes we falter and question if God really exists and if he is concerned about our difficult position. Study Daniel and see how the four Israelites kept their faith even though things looked bleak and hopeless. As we stated at the beginning, our calling is not about constant victory, but about constant faith. Thanks for being with us. This is Max Hooper. Have a great day. You've been listening to A Moment in God's Word, a daily devotion hosted by Southern Illinois sports legend, Max Hooper. Hi, this is Connie from Jagger's Doggy Daycare in Mount Vernon. All of us here at the Jagger's Pack want to thank you for your business and wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. And please remember the real reason for this season. Merry Christmas from all of us here at Jagger's Doggy Daycare. Hi, this is Brad from BNC Bikes in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Phone number is 618-816-4077. We would like to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot Your soul is full of love, Mr. Grinch. Three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote. Stay, stay, stank, stay, stank, stank, stank. Crooked jerky jockey, and you drive a crooked hoss, Mr. Grinch. You're a three-decker sauerkraut and toadstool sandwich with arsenic sauce. You're a mean one,
underwriting on the vine is provided by Embroidery and More in Fairfield. Embroidery and More specializes in custom embroidery, custom heat transfers for your reunion, school, and church groups, as well as baby items, wedding gifts, and Americana decor. Their hours are 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, Saturdays 9 to 1. You can also like them on Facebook. Embroidery and More is located at 107 Southeast 2nd Street in Fairfield, and their phone number is 847-5027. Hi, I'm Keith Stevens. Did you know there are kids right here in our area who are missing the joy of Christmas? Hurting and feeling forgotten while their mom or dad is in prison. These 2.7 million children in America are truly the innocent victims of crime. But Keep the Faith is giving you the opportunity to change Christmas for these kids. As you partner with Prison Fellowship's Angel Tree, these children will know that their parents have not forgotten them. So please do make sure the kids all over the area get a gift and the gospel this Christmas. Call 1-855-60-ANGEL. That's 1-855-60-ANGEL. And for those of you who can give enough to help put a smile on the faces of six kids this Christmas, we'll send you Hope, a beautiful coffee table book from Prison Fellowship that illustrates the redemptive work of Christ. Just visit keepthefaith.com for details. You'll also so get a limited edition 2016 Angel Tree Ornament. Call 1-855-60-ANGEL or go to keepthefaith.com. Time right now for Hey Howard. And the one-minute feature this morning underwritten by Fairfield Banking Company. Hi, this is Ashley DeVoy with the Fairfield Banking Company. We've been strongly rooted in this area since 1892. Our foundation is strong and we offer a unique checking account for customers 50 and older. It's called the 1892 Founders Club Checking, and it puts your money to work with interest paid on balances of $1,000 or more. You've worked hard to build a strong financial foundation for yourself, and now it's time to reap the rewards, including free checks and paper statements. Learn more about the 1892 Founders Club Checking Account, available at the Fairfield Banking Company, 915 Commerce Drive, member FDIC, and Equal Housing Lender. Helping you to be money smart, here's financial teacher Howard Dayton with today's question. Hey Howard, to me the economy seems to be doing okay, so why are so many people concerned? The retired president of Boeing Aerospace wrote an article that helps us understand the challenges. He said in 1948, there were 40 workers per retiree. Now there are less than three to fund growing government pensions, Social Security, and Medicare. And the national debt has grown like crazy. In just the last eight years, it's doubled to more than $19 trillion. The Congressional Budget Office predicts an increase of roughly a $1 trillion a year for the foreseeable future, so taxes are going to have to increase. So what can we do? Simple. Give generously, build savings, and get out of debt. Learn more using the free Compass MoneyWise app at compass1.org. Good morning, everyone. It's time now to check sports on this Friday morning. Girls high school basketball action from around southern Illinois last night. Carbondale and Mount Vernon played, and Carbondale winning, beating the Mount Vernon Lady Rams last night 58-53. Alney beat Fairfield 55-42. Hamilton County a winner over Edwards County 44-32. Oakville 53, Woodlawn 32. Cesar Valier Waltonville beat Ziegler Ralton 84-14. Flora beat North Clay 60-26. Salem a winner over Mount Zion 44-29, Benton 61, West Frankfurt 50, Weber beat South Central 40-25, DuCoin a winner over Anna Jonesboro 35-33, Altamont over Cowden Herrick Beecher City 62-31, Belleville Alltop beat Centralia in overtime last night 53-49, Belleville West winner of East St. Louis 52-40, Breeze Central 53, Westland 27, Brownstown St. Elmo 63, Neoga 55, that took two overtimes. Collinsville a winner over Alton, 89-51, Columbia 53, Waterloo Jabot 22. Edwardsville beat Granite City, 87-24, Daffingham over Taylorville, 70-59, Harrisburg a winner over Massac County, 47-31. It was Hillsboro beating Carlisle, 54-44, Modern Day over Mascouda, 76-40, Mattoon beat Charleston, 64-52, Meridian over Joppa, 70-37, Murfreesboro beat Marion 59-42, Tutopolis over Paris 61-43, and Triad beat Jerseyville last night. And girls High School Basketball 44-30 or 44-42, the final score there. Boys Basketball, the St. Elmo Holiday Tournament, Mulberry Grove beat Clay City 74-42, and St. Elmo Brownstown 
A winner over Cowden Herrick Beecher City, 72 to 54. Junior high boys basketball, Fairfield beat Floor last night, 53-21. It was Albion over Red Hill, 54-43, and Sisney beat Jasper, 60-30. In junior high girls basketball, only St. Joe beat Jasper, 40-21. Now on the schedule tonight, the Conrad Allen Holiday Tournament in Wayne City resumes tonight. And games on tap tonight, Patoka will take on Red Hill at 6. And at 7.30, the Wayne City Indians take on Crab Orchard. Regular season game tonight, high school boys basketball. Edwards County Lions and Fairfield Mules should be a dandy in Fairfield tonight as they will play tonight each other in Fairfield. Well, longtime Turner Sports broadcaster Craig Sager has died at the age of 65. Now known for his colorful and distinctive suits, during his more than 40-year career, the legendary sideline reporter battled acute myeloid leukemia since he was first diagnosed back in 2014. Sager was admitted back into the hospital in uh, late November. Now, Sager covered a wide variety of events, including college football, the NFL, the World Series, the Goodwill Games, the Pan Am Games, World Cup soccer, golf, tennis, and the Winter and Summer Olympics. His home was the NBA. So baseball news for you this morning. The Colorado Rockies have agreed with relief pitcher Mike Dunn on a three-year contract. The deal is worth more than $19 million. And Dunn is a left-handed pitcher, 6-1 and one with a 3.40 ERA in 42 and a third innings for the Miami Marlins last season. Free agent reliever Koji Yahara has agreed to terms on a one-year deal with the Chicago Cubs. Terms were not disclosed, but it is believed that the contract is worth $6 million. He pitched last year for the Boston Red Sox. Former Texas Rangers left-handed pitcher Derek Holland agreed to a $6 million one-year contract with the Chicago White Sox. Holland's deal includes $2 million in performance bonuses, $1 million each for 150 innings and 200 innings. Now, he was 62-50 and 50 with a 4.35 ERA in eight seasons with the Rangers, who declined an $11 million option and chose to pay $1.5 million in that buyout. The Baltimore Orioles have agreed to a one-year deal with free agent catcher Wellington Castillo. The $6 million deal is pending a physical and also features a $7 million player option for 2018. Castillo, who made $3.7 million in 2016, became a free agent after the Arizona Diamondbacks did not tender him a contract for 2017. Well, there was one game last night in the National Football League. And the game was between the Seattle Seahawks and the Los Angeles Rams. Well, the Seahawks beat the Rams. Rams not having a good year this year. They're like 4-10 and 10 now, and uh, they have an interim coach now. But Seattle won that game last night by the score of 24-3. No NCAA men's basketball games last night. They'll resume tomorrow. NBA basketball scores from... Last night, New Orleans over Indiana, 102-95. Milwaukee beat the Bulls, 108-97. It was Denver beating Portland, 132-120. San Antonio beat Phoenix, 107-92. And it was Golden State beating New York, 103-90. In the National Hockey League, the Blues winner last night over New Jersey, 5-2. The Blackhawks winner over the Islanders, 5-4. It was Anaheim over Boston, 4-3 in a shootout. Arizona beat Toronto 3-2. Los Angeles over Detroit 4-1. Minnesota over Nashville 5-2. In a shootout last night, Winnipeg and Florida. Winnipeg won that one over Florida 4-3. And the Rangers over Dallas, final score 2-0. NCAA Women's College Basketball. Number three, Baylor. No problem at all with Winthrop. Baylor 140, Winthrop 32. Number six, South Carolina over Clemson 83-61. It was number 16, Texas beating Texas Rio, 85-61, to 61, the final score there. And number 17, DePaul. They were upset last night by Temple. Temple beat DePaul, 84-74. to 74. That's Check Sports for you on this Friday morning. I'm Mark Wells reporting. Everyone at your local neighborhood pharmacy, Shoe Creek Pharmacy in Wayne City, Illinois, wishes you and your friends and family a very Merry Christmas. Time right now to check the area weather forecast underwritten by Home Source Warehouse and 
They're located in Mount Vernon. Monthly financial support of local Christian radio is provided by Home Source Warehouse in Mount Vernon. Located four miles north of Mount Vernon on Route 37, Home Source Warehouse offers a warehouse full of quality furniture and mattresses with legendary service. Open Thursday and Friday, 10 to 6, Saturday, 10 to 3. You can find them on Facebook, and their website is homesourcewarehouse.net. Their phone number is 204-5515. Home Source Warehouse, where style is affordable. Southern Illinois weather. Well, the forecast for the Vine listening area on this Monday, Friday. Cloudy skies today will have a high of 36. And then showers in the morning, steady light rain freezing in the afternoon. That's right, we'll have a high of 55 and the temperatures are really going to drop. And then Sunday, it's going to be very cold, clear with a high of 14. And then Monday, partly cloudy, high 24. Right now in the area, Carmine and Benton at 23. McLeansville also at 23, Mount Vernon 22. And in Wayne City, right now, it is 21. Welcome back to the Vine Morning Show. It's Monday, Friday here on the Vine. I'm Mark along with Kelly. And good morning, Kelly. And good morning, Mark. And uh, Jimmy and Mr. Marioki. Uh, Jimmy had to take him outside so he can have a candy cane. Yes. So he's down there chit-chatting with him. So he'll be back. They'll be back here in just a, just a few moments. Yeah, and Jimmy's going to be quite chilly after standing out there. Yeah, Mr. Mariochi, it doesn't bother him. He's, he's from the North it. Pole. Here they come. Yeah, Jimmy looks chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's his buddy just following him right behind him here. So, yeah. Did he enjoy the candy cane? No, he, he went down to the high school. Oh. oh. I had to go chase him down at the high school. He wanted to go see what they were having for lunch today. Oh, oh so, good grief. Well, that's, the girl, that's, the, that's, that's one way he and I are alike. Like to eat. We love to eat. Well, <laughs> the girls in the cafeteria at Wayne City High School, girls, be pay attention. If you see a two-foot-tall elf with big ears and black hair. Mr. Mariochi. Mr. Right. Mariochi. Kind of looks like Elvis. And he'll eat everything you have cooked today, so be very careful, ladies. There, Especially if it's sweet. <laughs> if it's oh sweet. Gosh. If you have any desserts there, be careful, because he'll eat it all. So he's supposed to be roaming around the Wayne City High School area. Yeah, he huh? said he was going to be going back. All right. What? <laughs> so anyway, he'll be back here in just a little bit, guys. So, Jimmy, you got something you want to... Uh, give us a couple of movies. You want me to play that first? You want you want to kind of warm people up first? We uh, better do the the TV theme song. The movie. You think? Let's do movie. the movie theme. The movie okay. song. Yeah, let's do, do that. Let's, let's give away these prizes real quick. Yeah. Right, yeah let's and then we'll do our and then we'll do our little competition. Yeah, yes. we'll do that when we come back after nine. Get, we can do that, can't we? Right yeah, that's fine. Nine? Okay. Before we do that, though, we got a little bit of time here. Let's look at something else here, real quick. You know, places that celebrate Christmas year round, guys. Well, one of them is. Yeah, Santa Holiday Claus. World. Yeah, Holiday World, Santa yes. Claus, Indiana. You said it's close to home. Yeah, well, it's yeah, close to we home. celebrate yeah, that every yeah. day over there. Santa Claus, Indiana. Who has not been to Santa Claus, Indiana? It's great. It's, it's great at Christmas mm-hmm. time. Oh, yeah. I haven't it been really at Christmas. Is. I bet it is. It is. Yeah, the, it's, they've got it's a really cool. place where a light display, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it's really cool. You know, mm-hmm. and the thing is, kids that are looking to reach the community's famous post office, so you can get that. Uh, Santa Claus, Indiana stamped on it. Yep. Mail their holiday wish list to 45 North Kringle Place. Yep. Santa Claus, Indiana, 47579. Yeah. Yes. Uh, here's some other place. North Pole, Alaska, where uh, Mr. Mary Oki is from. Nor- oh, yeah. 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 Well, right. not North Pole, Alaska, well, I don't think. I think he's just from the North just, Pole. Just from the oh, North Pole. Oh, he's from okay. just the he's North just Pole. From, okay. That's right. Well, I mean, you know, uh, Santa's home base is up in uh, the North Pole area there. It's close to Fairbrand. Well, it's got to be him. I mean, that's right in that general area there. Maybe he lives like There's a on North the outskirts. Pole, North, North Pole, Pole, Alaska. Alaska. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. Midland, Michigan. Apparently, uh, it's uh, uh, they have a Santa Claus Academy there where you can go and learn how to be Saint Nick. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're wow. going to be wanting yeah, to go yeah, to yeah, that, yeah. aren't no, you? No, I mean, Michigan. it's not hard to be Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah, All you yeah. got to do is be be a giver. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, because that's what Santa is. Santa is a giver. Yes. Yeah. And be jolly. And be jolly, exactly. Well, what, And eat. What, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What they yeah, do, you they, could do that yeah, easy. You could do that. Yeah, you go there and you get trained, and then they send you to malls all over the United States across the country. Huh. And you yeah. get a car that says uh, you'll be a car-carrying yeah. Santa. Yeah. Life-carrying wow. Santa. That's right. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Paradise, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's located off U.S. Route 30. 
Uh, it's got a lot of road museums there, but uh, apparently the National Christmas Center comprises 23,000 or 20,000 square feet of exhibits tracing centuries of holiday history. You can peek inside the recreation of a F.W. Woolworth's five and ten cent store. Oh. Browse through over 500 depictions of Santa Claus. Learn about Christmas traditions around the world. Wow. That would be a cool place to go. I, I love the name yeah, cool place, of yeah. the place. Yeah, yeah. Paradise, Pennsylvania. You, know, that's, yeah. you mentioned the Christmas traditions mm-hmm. from all over the world. That's mm-hmm. one thing that surprised me at Disney World when I was there a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Going on the It's a Small World ride. Oh, yeah. That would have been so neat if they would have transformed each of the rooms as to what their Christmas traditions are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that, would, would, be, have been, that, that would have been a neat idea. That would have been cool. That would. would have been really cool. Yeah. Frankenmuth, Michigan. Uh, look like a, like a storybook town. It's covered bridges, charming old world architecture, horse-drawn carriages, yeah, they have a 320,000 square foot space containing 350 decorated Christmas trees, oh, 150 wow. styles of nutcrackers and gifts imported from 70 countries around the world. Wow. Now, where wow. is this at? Frankenmuth, Michigan. Boy, mm-hmm. I'd like As to go As opposed to Frankincense. I know. Yeah. Or Frankenstein. Now, they have... Now, <laughs> yeah, Fra- that, that, would be, yeah, that would be yeah, Halloween yeah, thing. Yeah, I know. Thing, yeah. I just had to say it. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, it says here to a hundred thousand Christmas lights brighten the store's exterior in this store throughout the seasons. Their electric bill averages twelve hundred and fifty dollars a day. Wow! Yeah, so that's a lot of lights. Wow! Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, guys. Yep. Yes, uh, you can look down on the town from its perch on South Mountain. It's been officially named Christmas City USA by the Chamber of Commerce. Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but years ago, not years and years ago, but probably 14 years or so ago, 15 years ago, they put out, uh, when I say they, uh, it was Eddie DeGarmo from the old DeGarmo and Key oh, Christian yeah. group. Yeah. Eddie DeGarmo was a producer of this of this musical. It was called Hero, the Rock Opera. And it was a rock opera based on the life of Jesus. And it had all these Christian. Wow. I don't know. Or do you remember that? Are you familiar with that? Yeah, I think I remember. Michael that. Tate, yeah, Michael from the from DC Boys. Talk and the Newsboys. News he played Hero, which is yeah. Jesus, and he was born in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Yeah. It's like it's basically a modern day retelling of the gospel story. Yeah, I remember. And that. he he, cool he went that? from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, to uh, New York City, which was Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. Isn't that and, cool? And Rebecca St. James played Mary Magdalene did in it. Did you see it? I did not see it. I want there any way you... It, it, I, I, I haven't, I, I'm sure you could probably find it on YouTube. I have the actual soundtrack to it. Well, the, I need to try to find that. I would love it's, to see it's, that. It's, it's, I'd like to see it, too, yeah. but listening to it, it's it's really good. Really? Yeah, yeah. it's really cool. I remember that now that you mentioned When you that. mentioned Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, yeah. that's the first thing that went to... And really? What's oh, the name of it again? Hero, the rock, rock opera. Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Michael yeah, I bet Tate Brian Fuller knows about I it. Bet I bet he does. Knows, but I bet Brian knows, too. Well, one more one more place, guys. And uh, a lot of people go here, and they just recently, in that area, had a you know major fire. Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Yeah. That is pretty cool, guys. All right, let's see here. Um, all right, you guys ready to do our uh, Christmas movie? Yes. Oh, song. sir. Right. Yeah, we got. What do we got to give away the, today, Jimmy? What do you? We think? have this little pink bracelet mm-hmm. from Jamie Grace. It says Bella on it. Yes. You'll mm-hmm. have to tell the story ab- about that because I'm sure that was told. Mm, yeah. I, was it told at the I, concert I, I, the other night? What's Bella. A I'm name not sure. Of her. I don't remember. If she did, I was up moving around quite a bit, okay. so I don't remember her telling it's that. Pretty story. bracelet. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have a, a, a Jamie Grace Christmas Together mm-hmm. EP. Did mm-hmm. she so, sing those? All so those. Little, some of those. Now, Christmas Together, she saw. She okay. sung it's, that night. It's a four-song yes. CD mm-hmm. on this one, and then a Family Christmas songs by Jamie Grace and Morgan Harper Nichols, which, which is, is her sister. Which is her sister, yeah. It's very it's, talented. It's got mm-hmm. four songs on it, two from Jamie and two from mm-hmm. Morgan. And then we have Mercy Me, It's Christmas CD. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's and good it's, stuff. <laughs> that is a good CD. Yeah. And this can be one lucky yes. caller's yeah. gift set if mm-hmm. they correctly guess 
what the movie is. Yeah. Now, the clues we've given are 10 Day Caribbean Cruise, Riverside, Illinois, and Honey Glazed Ham. Yep. And Jimmy, you still have no clue yet. I still have no clue. He's going to know this. But we're going to play the song, okay? And this is not a theme song from it, it's a song that's in the movie, all right? So if you know the answer, callers out there, you can call us up at 618 895 3030. And you're going to win this new, uh, this cool uh, prize package Jimmy told you about, all right? You ready for this, guys? Yep. Here is today's Christmas movie song. Rushing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Sounds like a party at my house. <laughs> perfect. That's so perfect. That was good. Yes. Now, do you have any clues? Jim? No, I, I I really don't. I still don't have a clue. All right. Well, it, well here, here it is. It, it's a husband and wife. They're sitting at home, and the husband is reading a book, and she's getting ready to knit. Or no, they're at the dinner table. They're eating. Yeah. And they hear a knock on the door. And they, they start hiding throughout the house because it's Christmas carolers at their front door. And they refuse to answer the door, so they just start singing. Hmm. All right? Let me let me give you another clue. Vic Frohmeyer. Vic Frohmeyer. A well-known actor played Vic Frohmeyer in this movie. I still don't have a clue. You have no clue. I probably haven't seen it. Yeah, all right. I think you have. Yeah, I don't. I, I I'm beginning to think Jimmy hasn't seen this movie yet. Uh, <gasps> yeah. I have it? not seen that. <laughs> oh, you haven't? No, he hasn't seen that. I haven't one. seen that. You have to yeah. watch this. You're gonna laugh. Your oh, I'm sure I will. Off. Well, let me uh, let me tell you who's in the movie: Tim Allen, Jamie Lee Curtis. Don't say no more. Cheech That's Marin had, a, had an appearance in it, mm-hmm. if you remember. Cheech Marin. Cheech mm-hmm. Marin had a had, Ooh, had There's a, a blast in yeah. the past. It now was somebody's got to know yeah. this. It was, just, it was just on. I'll give you another clue. 2004 American Christmas comedy based on the 2001 novel Skipping Christmas by John Grisham. What and movie are we talking about? Six one eight eight nine five. I'm familiar with John Grisham. Yeah, <laughs> this is one of these that you have to watch every year, yeah. along with Christmas <laughs> Vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here yeah, we go. Uh, yeah, the phone's now beginning to ring. Yeah, let's see if we have a winner. Yeah, it's a great show. It really is. It's a funny show. Great family show. Good morning, caller. Who's this? Uh, Brian. Hey, hey, Brian. How are you this morning? Good. How are you doing? Yeah, we're doing good. Where are you calling from, Brian? Uh, I live in Wayne City, like two blocks from uh, the vine. Oh, nice. All right. nice. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, Brian, we got a cool prize package here for you. And if you could tell us what what movie are we talking about, Brian? Cr- Christmas with the Cranks. That's right. We <laughs> yeah, just about yeah, give it yeah, away, didn't we, yeah, Brian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've said, I knew it as soon as you said Vic Frohmeyer. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah Dan Aykroyd yep. played Vic Frohmeyer, who's the Cranks' domineering neighbor. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. hilarious. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've never seen that movie. He's never seen that. This is a, isn't this a great movie, Brian? Uh, it's a great one. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to watch it now. Yes, watch it this weekend. You'll, you'll, you'll watch it. You'll, you'll, you'll go back and you'll.